Hi, everybody. Um, well, quite a Monday up in the Cascades and out in the Columbia River Gorge. And get this, the, the new uh, update this morning is the National Weather Service has extended the winter storm watch, or excuse me, winter storm warning for the Gorge and also the Cascades all the way through 6 p.m. tomorrow, which means it's just going to be incredibly difficult traveling through at least that time frame. You probably have heard that they've closed down 84 uh, between Troutdale and the Dalles, no word on if they're going to even attempt to open that highway before the storm until the storm lets up. Um, it does look like the, the snow rates will ease up somewhat later today, but then they'll pick back up during the day tomorrow. And I mean, even Hood River, they picked up well over a foot. They're going to get another foot. So they're looking at totals of two feet, maybe pushing 30 inches in the Hood River Valley. And up on Mount Hood, they're looking at 30 to 40 inch storm totals from what really started overnight slowly last night and won't let up much until we get through the day Tuesday. Behind me, you can see the radar is still pretty lit up. It's steady rain, but nothing alarming here in Portland and then the snow continuing out in the gorge and over the uh, high country. I posted some... Um, rain totals, but it does appear, especially if the rain continues to be fairly steady today, that we'll get up to around two inches for the 24-hour, 30-hour time frame going back to last evening for total rain here in the valley. The heavy rain rates are over. We're not going to see what we had last night out of this system anymore. Uh, still breezy southwest winds out there. Snow levels, by the way, are going to go down to about 1,200 feet, maybe even closer to 1,000 feet over the coast range this afternoon and through tomorrow, so that also impacts that. Um, in, in terms of the day tomorrow, forecast models print out at least a quarter to maybe as much as a half of an inch of rain for Portland and Salem and Vancouver on Tuesday. Wednesday, we basically just have moisture kind of spilling into the area. I don't think the rain totals will be much. And an update to Thursday's weather system may not get here until Friday morning. So if that's the case, I don't think we see much total moisture on Thursday either. But we will get then a heavier shot of rain Thursday overnight and Friday morning. And then very quickly in the p.m. hours of Friday, it's possible the rain shuts off. And then we go completely dry through the weekend and into the first part of next week, which would be good news to let everything kind of settle down um, a little bit. Uh, I did report they had 81-mile-per-hour uh, winds in Yahats last evening. That was the highest I saw at the coast of the you know, main city reporting sites. We had 46-mile-per-hour wind gusts. That was the peak gust in McMinnville, Salem, and PDX, by the way, uh, last evening as well. Okay, with that said, make sure you check travel uh, conditions if you have to head out. And it, quite frankly, I mean, I just think it's best to avoid the Cascades and, and the Gorge unless you're just asking to put yourself into harm's way. I'll talk to you soon.